The sound of my breathing seemed to deafen any other ambient noise. Hunks of twisted metal littered the battlefield. Fourteen from our side, twelve from the enemy. It was three versus one, and I was the last tank standing. I looked at the time, three minutes left. They were bound to make their move. That's when it happened. I heard the all too familiar beeping of a spotted enemy. A Ferdinand tank destroyer, about a hundred meters out. I looked up. Six cents light hadn't gone up. I was good, I wasn't spotted. What do I do? Do I take the shot? I remembered something about only shooting when you could see the white in their eyes. But he was in a tank. I couldn't see Jack. The sound I never wanted to hear. Six cents went up. I was spotted. I put it in reverse and hid behind cover. I could see his tank stop to aim at the spot I was just at. I paused for a brief moment. My hands were shaking. I closed my eyes waiting for the inevitable. Then it hit me. It was the last battle of the day, and it was my buddy's times too. No way I'm backing out now. I remembered the Kolobanov's medal I was awarded. I've done it before. I can do it again. Ferdy was already zoomed in on my position. No way I could get a shot off before he hits me. So there was only one thing to do. I angled my tank slightly and put it in reverse. It's time to side scrape, baby. Side scrape? What are you talking about? You have no armor. I'm serious. I pulled out and it just bounced. Dude, the shell is probably the size of your entire tank. It just like ricochets. What is there to ricochet off of? You're a T-82. Because like the angle... Was... Oh, oh, definitely. Let me just angle my face slightly so I can bounce this nuke real quick. Sure. Uh, maybe it hit like the track or something. Whatever. So, what? Did you win? Nah, we lost.